Hi. Worldwide economic and political collapse imminent. We stand on the cusp of post-COVID upheaval throughout the entire globe. A possible 5 million unemployed and mass homelessness here. Local COVID outbreaks and lockdowns, looming chaos, forever on the back burner. For us, in the semi-lockdown, we have a tendency to rely on TV news for information. During a rapidly changing situation, the BBC, still viewed by many of us oldies, has offered the most appalling news coverage imaginable. A never-ending, continuously repeated feature on the development of Spitfire machine gun capability linked to the funeral of Vera Lynn. Next day, Saturday, 6.50 News was totally dominated by the death of Jack Charlton, player in the 1966 winning World Cup team. It took up almost the entire bullying. And this is, increasingly, what it's all about. Nostalgia. We're eternally wallowing in it habitually. It's embarrassing, cringeworthy, also boring, repetitive and ancient history to most. But it's also patriotic, nationalistic. Our ruling, controlling class keep us stullified with this garbage and lacking a revolutionary alternative. It works. However, we're going to hit head on a period of intense, rapid change, turmoil beyond anything most of us have previously experienced. Never mind all this nostalgia, we have entered the 2020s, which I fervently believe will prove to be the decade of revolution. This process will include what was once an entity formerly known as the United Kingdom and its godlike monarchy. Bye.